Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Super excited today. We got the new tractor here at home. Can't wait for some snow to try this thing out. We got a brand new Kubota M7060. So there's already a lot of good uh, walk around, good review videos on YouTube already. So I'm not going to get into too much detail. I'm just going to do a quick walk around and show you uh, the accessories that we bought, some of the new features we purchased with the tractor, and maybe it's something you might like uh, to add to your 7060 as well if you're in the market. So starting at the back, we, uh, we got the ag tires. We had heard that these tires are pretty good in the snow, so they got a nice deep lug. We went with loaded rear tires for extra weight, and we also added the cast inserts. We went with the front fenders. Uh, the John Deere we had, the had no front fenders and we'd get a lot of splash up on the windshield running up and down the road with the slush and the salt and, and it would uh, spray all over the tractor so that's a nice feature keeping the windows clean, keeping all the salt off the frame, it'll work well. We went with a 3500 HLA snow pusher. Uh, we looked at the 2500, the 2500 doesn't have the trip edge and I really wanted that trip edge just to protect the loader arms if you did hit something. Uh, the bottom edge will trip. You can see the springs there. That's an 8 foot, so it's good size, good match for the 7060. We went with the HLA back scraper, back drag, whatever you want to call it. Just for getting in close to garage doors, different areas, pull back with the, with the back scratcher there. We added the mirrors, a little extra visibility when uh, doing snow removal can't hurt. Uh, I like this quick attach system that Kubota has, it's just the one lever. Uh, you pull that forward, bring it back, get in the cab, unhook, drive up to your bucket, we got an 84 inch bucket, drive up to the bucket, drive into it, as you tilt up. This is on a spring affair and this spring will let go as you tilt up the weight of the bucket and you don't have to get out of the cab, it hooks itself up. So it's a nice feature, saves an extra trip getting out of the cab. Another feature we added was this float option. It's an actuator for the front loader arms and you can shut that on or off. So if you've ever operated a skid steer or a front end loader, they have the electronic button right on the right on the dash or on the side post and that will put your loader arms into float and what that does when you're going up and down the road it uh, it softens the the hit from when you're uh, running over bumps or or dips you'll see uh, the loader arms go up and down like this and uh, with the weight of the pusher it uh, it takes the, the brunt force out of the loader arms and it also makes for an excellent ride for the operator in the seat. That was about a $1,200 option. As uh, far as I'm concerned, it's, uh, it's a must. And uh, I just couldn't believe the difference in the ride of this tractor. Like, it was night and day. So really love that option there. Highly recommend it if uh, anybody in the market for one of these tractors. We got the defrost on the side and back windows, which is nice, keeping them clear. We added the three remotes. Uh, we got hydraulic top link. Uh, last year I had the John Deere, I didn't have the hydraulic top link when we run the box blade or the landscape rake. You're always getting in and out of the tractor and having to readjust things or backing up to the implement. You gotta readjust, get out. This is gonna make life a lot easier with the with the hydraulics just sit in the cab and you can control your pitch or the cutting edge and it's just a great uh, great option to have for all that it costs. Uh, they had this used 86 inch commercial grade snow blower at the, at the Kubota dealer for sale so it worked out good with this. It was a good match for this tractor and it also saved me a huge pile of money so paid for a lot of the other extras we added on the tractor. And the snow blower is practically new anyway. The guy that owned it before never used it a whole lot. So everything's hydraulic on the chute, uh, hydraulic turn, hydraulic uh, deflector, that'll be nice. We also added an actuator on the back, three point. 
and you can adjust that on the dial there for different weight uh, implements and what that does same as the front loader when you hit bumps it'll uh, it'll cushion your your three-point hitch your hydraulic you'll see your snowblower kind of soften up and down like that takes the hit uh, out of these three-point arms you take 12 hours a day going up and down the road they take a lot of abuse if you didn't have that uh, that actuator cushioning those hits and it makes for a heck of a nice ride for the operator like I tried this tractor up and down the road a few times and I, it's it's just like driving a new truck no lie like it I just couldn't believe it I know I go on and on about it but uh, man it's it's really enjoyable to drive when you're in it for 12 hours it uh, it's nice so let's check the inside out we want the air ride seat it's got a few different options there you can adjust with it's got the adjustable armrest which is nice you can raise them up that's a nice cloth seat high back uh, you can take the headrest off if you want and uh, it uh, it just adds with the with the actuators front and back air ride like it just adds to the ride of this machine like so this is a four speed machine we got uh, three ranges high medium and low uh, the creeper mode is really nice I believe this creeper mode is not in some of the tractors you just have your uh, your uh, high and your low but this creeper mode is nice for when you're running the snowblower and you have like really wet snow or a hard snow bank to get through you put that in creeper mode and and uh, you have that in all four gears so when you have it in number one and in low it just barely crawls so it's nice for going through those hard banks or uh, wet snow conditions very nice here these levers the three remotes your deflector your chute your top link everything's you know my arms right on the armrest everything's right there very nice loader lever same thing arms right on the armrest it's very nice easy to reach when I first uh, went in the showroom or so when I first went in the dealer uh, the, the salesman walked me around the tractor and showed me a few different things this when I jumped up in the tractor this loader lever was way up here and uh, man I didn't like it at all like I pretty much had to get my back right off the backrest of the seat to reach up and uh, grab this loader lever so when the tractor got home I peeled this rubber up and there's a there's a nut in there and I loosened the nut off and then this loader lever swung all the way around to where it is now and like it's so much better like you can see like my arm is on the armrest and I can run that loader and what a difference it made like I was I was happy that I was able to adjust that because that I was pretty discouraged having that way up there to be honest with you so if you ever have one of these tractors and you notice that then you'll know how to fix it if you see this video uh, yeah it's just uh, it's a simple fix but it must have happened like at the factory the way they put that loader arm on it didn't change any of the functions everything's still the same it just brought it back about a whole foot like anyway yeah you got all the options like I said there's a lot of good videos on YouTube guys that go over these I know Messix they got uh, great videos there Neil he goes over these tractors with a fine tooth comb and and explains everything a lot better than I could so uh, we got the Kenwood stereo. I mentioned that Bluetooth little microphone there. Nice quiet cab. Shut the door. You can hardly hear this tractor running. Tilt steering. You got your three-point draft and lift there. So yeah, we absolutely love the new tractor. Uh, it's everything that we wanted. Uh, you know we were looking for that big pusher and we wanted that commercial grade blower the John Deere did an excellent job it just uh, our business was growing and uh, and we had to grow with it in order to keep up the John Deere just couldn't keep up at the end of the day so and it caused a lot of fatigue on myself too, bouncing on that small machine you know uh, trying to run from place to place and it was uh, beating me up pretty good so this is gonna make a huge difference uh, we purchased this Kubota at uh, Bayview in Fredericton and can't say enough about the customer service it was awesome 
and customer service is everything to me when you're buying a piece of machinery like this uh, they give us hoodies a couple hoodies they give us hats a bag of goodies uh, they uh, give me a great deal on my John Deere like the best deal I could get from anywhere and uh, yeah I can't say enough about them so if you're in the market if you're in that area highly recommend uh, Bayview Kubota in Fredericton New Brunswick uh, other than that guys that's that's pretty much it for uh, accessories and everything we got uh, so if you like the video go ahead and smash that like button and hit the subscribe and you won't miss any of the upcoming videos of this tractor pushing some snow